Hi. <laughs> So, uh, yes, uh, as uh, Alex just said, I will talk about an innovative uh, development workflow using Cocktail and Enemy. So, I guess, yes, everyone knows Cocktail, probably, and Enemy, probably also. <laughs> so, um, uh, just a few words about me, because um, I think most of you don't know me yet, so I'm Thomas. I'm a contributor at Salix Lab and I'm a freelancer. Uh, how, how I ended up using Hacks? So, actually, I'm a former Java JEE developer. Uh, I was working for Oracle in the engineering team of WebLogic. It's one of the main JEE implementation. Um, in 2009, they closed the offices in Poland where I was working. So, I ended up uh, with uh, a job. Um, instead of jumping right into the next salary job, I decided to, to learn something new. The, I uh, used the occasion to use uh, Flash. Uh, and uh, through the Silex CMS, actually, it was the only, uh, only one open source Flash CMS I, uh, I found. It turned out to be um, uh, developed by uh, a French team. So uh, I got to know them and finally worked with them. Uh, today, uh, no, since 2011, I'm using Axe uh, for uh, some Silex Labs project needs and also for my customer needs. Today, I'm a freelancer. I do mostly web apps, mobile apps, cross-platform apps, cloud-connected apps, video players, and e-learning application. Okay, so. Um, there will be three parts. I will um, uh, first uh, show you uh, uh, the, the workflow with a little uh, demo application. Uh, I will talk a little bit also about some contributions that uh, occurred around this workflow uh, on those two hacks libraries. And I will um, um, tell you my opinion on, on when you should probably uh, use this workflow and when you probably shouldn't. So the workflow. Uh, the first step in the workflow will be actually just um, uh, uh, HTML5 application development using the Hacks.js uh, API. Uh, so it, I will show you right so application, okay. Um, uh, so um, my little demo application. So actually, it's uh, your application will just consist of uh, HTML file, CSS file, and uh, hacks uh, JS files. So. Uh, in this case, I've uh, chosen a video, uh, a video player application, very simple one. So the application is described in HTML. We have a video uh, HTML tag uh, pointing to some uh, uh, MP4 uh, file, and we have a few buttons, one timeline, just to control the player. We have a, uh, actually two, uh, two little CSS files for the UI, for the styling. And uh, we have uh, a little MVC uh, um, uh, source code. So uh, a controller, some view classes, which are uh, dependent uh, on the uh, uh, JS API, a little uh, a little model, a little state, and um, and a bootstrap. Uh, so how does it look like? Um, if we compile it, It will looks like this. So uh, 
very simple video player application. We can uh, uh, change the position, turn off the sound, pause, play. Uh, so this is the first step in this development workflow. Simple, uh, uh, simple uh, HTML5 application development. So it consists of development with the HTML API. Uh, you can debug uh, during the development phase right into your web browser. So this is, uh, this is a big advantage. You can use all your favorite uh, um, web, web uh, debugging tools, the DOM inspector, the JavaScript console, whatever. And it's also, you can start writing your unit size test right, uh, right at this, uh, at this uh, stage. The second step will be the compilation of your application with Cocktail. So basically Cocktail, it's just um, a bridge between the HTML API and the Flash API. So uh, here actually you just compile your application and you get it in flash and, um, and air also, it's the same thing. So here we have the both after compilation. Here we have the HTML player I just showed you. And here we have the, um, the flash uh, port of the same player. Uh, everything is clear, yes? Uh, so this step actually uh, just consists of compiling with Cocktail and potentially uh, uh, some bug fixing at Cocktail level in the, in the Cocktail library. You will run your unit test previously uh, written at, uh, at the first step in the Flash Player or runtime depending on what you're targeting. And that's pretty much it for the step two. Step three, uh, if you want to target the, the native uh, platforms, uh, you will con uh, compile your uh, HTML application both with Cocktail and Enemy. Cocktail being uh, the bridge between HTML and Flash APIs and uh, Enemy understanding the Flash API to output uh, native uh, binary code. Uh, so I can show it to you, for example, in the iOS simulator. Why is it so big? Okay, so here we have the same application on a iOS uh, simulator. Okay, so screen resolution is a bit... Uh, okay, so the, the screen resolution is not, uh, not good. But it works. Um, okay, so um, just to summarize, this step will just be compilation with Cocktail and Enemy. Potential bug fixing at Enemy or at CPP level. And uh, unit test uh, running in, uh, on each uh, targeted uh, native platform. Okay, now um, some contributions that uh, occurred around those libraries and uh, I will more speak about fun contributions. So I, I think we already told about it uh, during uh, last conferences but I will just summarize from the beginning. Uh, Cocktail is pretty new actually, it uh, started in 2012, something like this. And um, uh, in the very early stage of the project, we had uh, Ibuzing, e e e uh, who, um, who contributed to, to Cocktail. Uh, uh, the opportunity was created by, uh, 
by Alexandre Yo, you, you all know, uh, who, uh, who set it up uh, a team, an in-house team uh, within the eBuzzing uh, structure to work on, uh, on the proprietary product while uh, Yannick Dominguez, the developer of uh, Cocktail, and, and myself were working on the open source uh, libraries. So why were they interested in Cocktail? Well, the eBuzzing, it's... Uh, uh, the, the leader, the European leader in uh, video advertisement, and uh, to be completely cross-brother for what they do, they, they needed a player which uh, plays both uh, in Flash and HTML5. Uh, and previously, they were actually maintaining and developing two different projects. Uh, well, few information about the, the projects. They, they support YouTube and daily motion video streaming. They inject advertising within the videos, uh, have some social network sharing features, and at that time, at least, I think now it's probably more, they had 15 million views per month. But uh, what they really added uh, to the cocktail library was actually uh, CSS parsing and independent style sheet support. Uh, they also uh, financed uh, the uh, video support uh, and of course, uh, we got better performances and bug fixes uh, faster. Another uh, a big contribution we had, uh, I think also in 2012, uh, was at uh, TF1, so again an opportunity uh, uh, created by uh, Alexandre. Uh, and um, so TF1, it's uh, one of the biggest uh, uh, TV group in, uh, in Europe also. And uh, they already had an application, so my TF1 Connect, it's, it's, it's a video application which, uh, which plays live stream, VOD, and also uh, adds some, um, uh, some more features like commenting or voting or playing on, uh, on social networks. Uh, commenting, for example, the live stream and such such features, and uh, they had already this application on web and I think iOS, and they needed uh, an Android port. So actually, we we've made uh, uh, their uh, their Android port of the application with Cocktail. Uh, so it's uh, it's compiled to Flash, it doesn't use enemy, uh, and. Uh, well, this, uh, this, uh, this project actually uh, allowed uh, much better performances for the flash uh, target and the air target and a lot of bug fixing also. And recently, recently we had uh, also from uh, TF1, uh, so the same company, uh, we had a, 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 another project, again thanks to, uh, to Alexandre, um, uh, and um, so uh, TF1, this is the, the TV channel, wanted a new video player because they were using the, the web player, which, which were quite old. And the, they wanted a new video player that would target uh, HTML5 and Flash because they have some Air application where they, they still need uh, to integrate the, their video player. And also native iOS and native Android. They, they, they wanted uh, the player to be... Um, uh, to be used as an application fragment, to be embedded in, uh, in other native applications. Um, and, um, well, we, uh, we worked with uh, Clément Charmé, I think you probably know him, he's a developer of uh, the Axe plugin for a Sublime Text uh, editor, and, and myself worked on, on this, and with Hugh for the enemy uh, part, he, he uh, contributed a lot and added uh, uh, features to enemy. I will talk about them uh, in the next slide. Um, but well, basically, yes, it's a video player which is uh, uh, coded with Cocktail, uh, I mean with the uh, HTML uh, API, compiled with Cocktail and enemy uh, to, uh, to, have, um, uh, to support those, uh, those four targets. Uh, and in that case, actually, uh, it, uh, it hasn't contributed to cocktails that much, but uh, it's allowed to, uh, to, uh, to
to add some new features to, uh, to NME. Uh, so actually, Hugh implemented them. Um, some performances and bug fixes on Android and iOS, but actually that part, I think it's more hex CPP than uh, NME. Um, two new also uh, NME targets for iOS and Android. So the iOS view and Android views, I don't know if you, you've, you've used them already. So it's uh, two new targets uh, which allows to publish uh, your project as an application fragment or we also speak about SDK. Um, it also, I think, added the iOS and Android video support in NME, and uh, also it improved NME and cocktail compatibility. Uh, so now, when, should, when you should use this workflow and when you should probably not? Um, well, Cocktail, from the Cocktail point of view, it's not yet complete. The implementation uh, doesn't support some CSS3 features and also a few HTML5 features. Uh, we, will, um, uh, we will be working on it, actually, with, uh, with Yannick. We, we uh, decided to, to make some big uh, refactoring in the library to, to cut it into smaller pieces and make it more maintainable and uh, usable by uh, users. Uh, so perhaps it will, hopefully it will help uh, contributions, contributing. And with NME actually, uh, uh, well, from my point of view, it's, it's a quite complex library and if you use, if you use it uh, not full time, I mean like I do, I, it's, I don't know, it, it will represent uh, perhaps 5% of my working time in such a project. Uh, well, it's quite hard at the beginning to, uh, to, to get to own the project uh, in order to fix yourself things within enemy. Uh, it takes some time, I, th I, I think, to, uh, to really know it. Uh, and well, both are, are large and complex libraries that require quite a bunch of knowledge uh, around tooling and testing. Uh, when you when we when you follow this workflow, you you have to be familiar with hacks of course, JS, cocktail and ME, uh, but also Flash, uh, C, uh, C++, Objective C, Java, and all the tooling which is around it. For example, when you will compile to iOS, you you have to know a little bit about hex code uh, and so on. Uh, but. Uh, I think that the big advantages of uh, this workflow is that it uses uh, a very known and um, actually simple API, which is the HTML API. Most developers know this API. Uh, it's also very good when you target both web and native platforms. It makes no compromise uh, on native performances and compatibility, for example, for this last video player we, we've made, we had a lot of dependencies on uh, uh, native libraries for um, uh, advertising within the, the player, so some vast parser, uh, some uh, um, stats libraries which were native and specific to each platform. And also, I think it's a good workflow when you, because everything is open source, uh, I think it's a good workflow when uh, one company wants to take ownership on the technology, technologies they use and potentially contribute to them. And that's it. Any question? Thanks. Um, so I, that, that's a very interesting workflow as sort of a competitive strategy for building portable applications on the Flash API, and not one that we've looked at a lot, but I'm especially interested in the fact that you've got video across all those platforms. Have you done any kind of um, secure video across any of those, or these are all, this all this video is generally open video? No, it's open. Sorry. Uh, the, actually, there were some uh, sec security rules implemented, but it was uh, uh, proprietary uh, security rules. I haven't touched DRM for the moment. Um, one other thing that I probably 
should have said about the, the video support is that uh, it's not emulated video. Uh, it's uh, for on, on each of those platforms, it's native video. For example, for the enemy target, you could speak about it more uh, precisely, but uh, it's, um, it's actually using the, the system video player uh, on iOS and Android, for example. Uh, in Flash, it's uh, stage video and uh, well in HTML5, it's HTML5 video. What are the biggest limitations in HTML and CSS support in uh, cocktail? At cocktail level, right? Um, so again, uh, <laughs> Yannick will, will be better to speak about it. He's the lead developer. But uh, I think that uh, in CSS, uh, all stuff ab around borders is not uh, uh, implemented. Um, have you have borders? OK. Um, the 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 latest also CSS three uh, features like uh yeah, you don't have a new uh yes yeah. you don't have new uh, <coughs> CSS three features like for instance uh, flexbox uh, or uh, even border radius uh, gradient this kind of stuff I I stuck mostly to uh, CSS two point uh, one to start with this thank you Yannick. <laughs> If if people and uh, who follow the live stream want to ask questions uh, with uh, Twitter, it's fine because I know Clemos is uh, listening. And once he told me that uh, he he felt like he was doing a website for IE six when he <laughs> when he was working with Cocktail, but it was a long time ago. So maybe he has something to say. <laughs> so say it right now, Clemos, if you hear us. Uh, any <laughs> any other questions? So um, I, I have another question. Um, do you have any idea from a size perspective when you use the native half of your workflow, how big the cocktail and other things when compiled through become, like what the overhead of those is? Like relative to your small program there, I would expect enemy is maybe the biggest part, the enemy runtime, and then maybe cocktail. But I just wonder if you have any uh, thoughts or comments about the relative size and sort of impact. Well, in the case of those projects, it was not a constraint, so actually I haven't looked at it. <laughs> uh, but I will, um, I will uh, publish this little demo app uh, so that everyone can uh, play it with it, and it will be easily uh, checkable. Okay. Uh, I think uh, nobody saw the difference between the Flash and the HTML version and the native version. It's it's kind of incredible, isn't it? So thank you to Yannick and uh, and Yug too for these great uh, tools and uh, all the people who contribute and debug and okay. Thank you.